okay students in today's class we'll discuss about replacement analysis okay this also comes under inventory control so here in this session we are talking about different replacement models and problems associated with each model okay so here why do we replace an item or why do we replace a machine any machine or any item for that instance with the passage of time there will be deterioration involved right this the efficiency of the machine or the efficiency of the item will decrease or any inventory will decrease with uh, the change in time or with the passage of time right so as the efficiency decreases what will happen the maintenance cost of that particular item will increase as a result it will reach in one point that the maintenance cost is much higher than uh what uh, buying another item right so in such cases we will have to replace the machinery or replace the inventory so that is why we are um, talking about a replacement analysis so how effectively we can replace a machinery or when to replace that machinery or what is the optimum time period in which any machinery has to be replaced all these things are dealt in case of replacement analysis so first let's see what do you mean by a replacement model so <coughs> basically replacement models are used in decision making process of replacing used equipments or used assets with a suitable asset for better usage so to make it better we are replacing it with a new one the older one with a new one so replacement is required because the efficiency of an asset decreases with time and as a result its maintenance cost also increases so we need to find optimum replacement period in order to replace old assets with new ones so in replacement analysis we are talking about the optimum replacement period and till what time that particular asset can be used when to replace etc so here whenever we talk about any replacement we will have to follow the condition of replacement policy so in case of replacement policy it says that if the running and maintenance cost of the machine for the next year is more than the average annual cost of the selected year then replace the item at the end of the selected year now what is this replacement policy i will explain with the help of an example okay so before that let's see what are the different type of replacement models okay so basically here we are dealing with three types of models the first one is replacement of items that deteriorate that is whose maintenance cost increases with time but here in this model we are ignoring the changes in the value of money during the period so the uh, time period of that money or value of money is ignored in the first model okay here we are only talking about the maintenance cost of that particular item which increases with time here the value of money is not considered now talking about the second model the replacement of mm -hmm. items that deteriorate that is whose maintenance cost increases with time and change in value of money is also considered with the passage of time now here in this case we are talking about the change in the value of money as well then the third model is replacement of items that fail suddenly okay so we will deal with each and every model in detail with the help of an example so let's first discuss about the first model that is replacement of items that deteriorate over time and uh, whose maintenance cost will increase with time but here we are ignoring the value of money here we are not considering the value of money so we will discuss this with the help of an example now consider this particular example for the first model okay the cost of a machine is rupees 10500 and its scrap value is rupees 500 the maintenance cost found from experience are as follows so here you are given year okay year there is from 1 to 8 so that means they are talking about 8 years how the maintenance cost of this item is there for 8 years okay so this is the uh, example for the first model that means the replacement we are going to replace an item which deteriorate over time that means its maintenance cost is increasing but here we are not considering the value of money okay mm -hmm. here in the question we are asked to find out when should the machine be replaced so we have to find the optimum time period wherein this machine has to be replaced okay so what all things are given in the question the cost of the machine so that means the purchase price is given that is 10500 so the purchase price so you can write purchase price purchase price of this particular item is 10500 rupees right that is given in the question then the scrap value what do you mean by scrap value scrap value means it is the salvage price or you can say it is the resale value right so the resale value of this particular item is rupees 
okay so it is given as rupees 500 only that means for all these eight years the resale price remains the same that is rupees 500 now the maintenance cost is given so the for, for the first year the maintenance cost is 300 second year it's 500 third year 700 fourth year 1000 fifth year 1400 sixth year 1900 seventh year 2000 uh, 400 and eighth year it is 3000 so you can see that the maintenance cost of this particular machine is increasing with time okay so at one point we, we need to replace this particular item so what is the optimum time period that is what we have to find out okay so in this question for doing this particular question you have to draw the table like this okay in this particular table you have seven columns okay you can see seven columns in this table the first column is year of service then resale value depreciation cost what is depreciation cost depreciation cost is purchase price minus resale value so we know the purchase price of this item it is given in the question that the purchase price is 10,500 and here the resale value is also known to us it is given that the scrap value of the item is 500 so this 500 will remain throughout okay so here year of service i have already written 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 till 8 okay so i have 8 years and the resale price as per the question it remains same for all these 8 years so i can directly write rupees 500 for all these 8 years same value right so it is 500 so for all the years i have to write 500 500 is my resale value okay and next they are talking about the third column talks about the depreciation cost what is depreciation cost it is purchase price minus resale value so what is purchase price as per the question it is given that the cost of a machine is rupees 10,500 so the purchase price is 10,500 so I need to subtract 10,000 uh, sorry 500 from 10,500 that is resale value should be subtracted from the purchase price right so 10,500 minus 500 so it will be 10,000 so this remains same for all the year so I'll be writing 10,000. Sorry, one more zero. 10,000 for all these years. Okay. Then the next one is annual maintenance cost. So what is the annual maintenance cost? Annual maintenance cost is also already given in the question to directly copy it in this particular column. So annual maintenance cost for the first year is. 300 next is 500 700 1000 then 1400 1900 2400 and the last one is 3000 that is for the eighth year okay then you are asked cumulative maintenance cost that is the fifth column cumulative maintenance cost means this this is the annual maintenance cost so with this you have to keep adding for each and every year so the first year the accumulative maintenance cost will be 300 only and for the next year that is 300 plus 500 for the second year 300 plus 500 it will be 800 then 800 plus 700 so that will be 1500 then 1500 plus 1000 it will be 2500 2500 plus 1400 will be 3000 900 and you should you need to keep on adding these values 3900 plus 1900 which will give you 5800 then 8200 and finally you will have 11200 okay that is 8200 plus 3000 is 11200 okay so you got the cumulative annual maintenance cost the next one is total cost that is the sixth column total cost is third column plus fifth column what is the third column that is the depreciation cost so you have the depreciation cost plus the fifth column that is cumulative annual maintenance cost so these two columns you need to add in order to get the total cost that means first one is 10,000 plus 300 so you will have 10,300 rupees then 10,000 plus 800 10,800 10,000 plus 1,500 so it will be 11,500 right then comes 12,500, 13,900, 15,800, 18,200 and 21,200 rupees. Okay. Then the last column or the seventh column is average annual cost. 
average annual cost is calculated by dividing the sixth column by the first column. What is the sixth column? That is the total cost. You need to divide the total cost with number of years, years of service, right? So first one is 10,300 divided by 1. So you get 10,300 only. Then the next one is 10,800 divided by 2. So you will get 5,400 rupees. Then 11,500 divided by 3. So that is 3,833. Then 12,500 divided by 4. That is 3,125. Then 13,900 divided by 5. You will get 2,780. Then it is 2,633. Then 2,600. And finally 2,600. 50. So you need to divide the total cost by the number of years. So here it is 21,200 divided by 8, 2,650. Okay, so all the columns are done now. Okay, now what is asked in the question? We need to find the optimum replacement period, right? Or optimum replacement year. Now look at the last column that is average annual cost. Out of this, which is the lowest value? So you have 10,300, 5,400, 3,833, 3,125, 2,780, 2,633, 2,600 and 2,650. Out of this, the smallest value is 2,600, right? And this 2,600 is corresponding to the 7th year. This is corresponding to the 7th year. So, here we can say that 7th year is the optimum replacement period. But... You cannot confirm it unless you check it with the replacement policy. Okay. Now look at this particular uh, replacement policy. So we had this replacement policy. What is replacement policy is telling? If the running and maintenance cost of the machine for the next year is more than the average annual cost of the selected year, then the replace then replace the item at the end of the selected year. Now we have selected the seventh year saying that this is the lowest value so we have selected the seventh year now what is uh, told in the replacement policy the running and the maintenance cost the cost of the machine for the next year so if you have selected seventh year the next year will be eighth eighth year right so it's running and replacement value so running and maintenance value maintenance cost so what is the running and maintenance cost of eighth year here you can see that the running and maintenance cost, the annual maintenance cost of the 8th year is 3000 rupees, right? This 3000 should be compared with this value. That is the average annual cost of the 7th year. That means the running and maintenance cost of the next year. Here we have selected 7th year. So the next year will be 8th year. So its annual maintenance cost should be compared with that of the average annual cost of the selected year. Now 3000 and 2600. Which one is the highest value? The highest value is 3000. Correct? So according to the replacement policy they are saying that if the running and maintenance cost of the machine for the next year is more than the average annual cost of the selected year then replace the item at the end of the selected year. So we can say that this condition is satisfied. How this condition is satisfied? Here we have selected the seventh year. Selected year. Selected year is seventh year. So next year will be. Next year will be eighth year, right? So the average running cost of the eighth year. Average running cost and uh, sorry the annual running cost and maintenance cost of the 8th year is 3000. So 3000 is greater than 2600 that is the average annual cost of the 7th year. Therefore the replacement policy is satisfied. Replacement policy is satisfied. Is satisfied. Therefore, therefore, seventh year is uh, the optimum replacement year. Therefore, seventh year is the optimum replacement year. Okay, so that means you can say that the uh, item or the machine should be replaced at the end of the seventh year. 
so the optimum replacement here is the seventh year okay i hope this is clear to all of you the only thing is you will have to do the seven columns and fill it according to the uh, given formula and then you need to check for the lowest term so whichever is the lowest term the corresponding year will be the selected year then what you need to do is once you have selected a year check the annual maintenance cost of the next year if you have selected seventh year then you have to go for the eighth year annual maintenance cost of the eighth year should be greater than the annual average cost of the selected year if that is there then the replacement policy is met then you can say that we have to replace this particular item at the end of the seventh year okay thank you students